Hi theory students. Today we're going to be talking about the first part of the chapter on chromatic harmony and voice leading. In particular, we'll be talking about chromatic sequences and chromatic voice exchanges. For chromatic sequences, any diatonic sequence can be made chromatic by filling in or substituting half steps where there are diatonic whole steps. I'll show you three examples, and this is just part of what they show you in the book. One is a descending fifths sequence of seventh chords. The other is descending fifths in a seven-six linear intervallic progression. And the third one is the ascending five-six sequence. Let's see what these look like diatonically, and I'll turn each one into a chromatic sequence. So here in D minor would be a sequence of seventh chords. Ending on the non-seventh chord six, uh, Roman numeral six. So in this particular case, what I need to do to make this chromatic is the following. Imagine now that we've got the tritone here going chromatically to the tritone there. chromatically to the tritone there, there, and there before the tritone resolves outward in a plain old triad. So now it sounds like this. for resolving there. In the example in the book, once we're on the B flat chord in D minor, it can get turned into an augmented sixth. before resolving that way. But you could see the chromatic sequence now. All of the notes that I wrote in take the diatonic sequence and make it chromatic. So you see the chromatic lines there and in the alto part as well. The next example is from a descending 7-6 sequence. And you see the Roman numerals that show how this is alternating 6-5 and 4-2 position chords in the descending fifth pattern, where the Roman numerals are 1, 4, 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, and 1. So diatonically it sounds like this. before resolving there. What I can do now is take this bass line and run it down chromatically till I get here to this point. So now
and now it's diatonic from here. So you see how with this pattern, we make the entire bass line chromatic. Finally, in the 5-6 progression, which diatonically sounds like this, we can take the bass line and add the chromatic notes and here with an A sharp I'm also going to make that an F sharp to keep the 5-6 relationship and it sounds like this Look in the book for other examples about how diatonic sequences can be made chromatic, but these are three good examples. For a chromatic voice exchange, here over a series of several beats, the outer voices will exchange pitches. Diatonically, they would exchange the same exact pitches. The twist here is that one or both in this chromatic voice exchange will end on an altered version of the pitch they're exchanging. I'll show you two examples that come from the textbook. In the first example, in the key of D major, here's a diatonic voice exchange, where the D in the bass becomes the D in the soprano, and the F sharp in the soprano becomes the F sharp in the bass. Now when we chromaticize it, we run each of the two lines chromatically, so now the F-sharp goes to F-sharp and the D goes to D, but it's the way we get there that's chromatic even if the pitches we were exchanging remain the same. And finally, going from a 2 to a 5, 6, 5 of 5, diatonically, and now chromatically, So in a case like this, again, we can run fully chromatic lines in contrary motion that make this a very effective chromatic voice exchange. That's all for today. We'll continue the chapter in the next video cast.